Good afternoon, I'm Anu Prakash. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Police are searching for a teenager who they believe shot and killed a 70-year-old man inside his home. The family of Jamie Mintz is devastated. They say he was the kind of person who would help anyone in need. He was killed at his home on Mansfield near Plymouth on Detroit's west side. Investigators believe the suspect was the boyfriend of Mintz's granddaughter. Michigan State University's ex-president Luanna Simon was back in an Eaton County courtroom today. Simon is accused of lying to police over what she knew about a 2014 Title IX complaint against the former gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser. The complaint was filed by a patient who said that she was sexually assaulted. Simon says she never knew it was Nasser who was under investigation back in 2014, but the attorney general's office says it has witnesses who say she did know. As students from Derby Middle School in Birmingham returned to class today, parents were warned that the school was exposed to the measles. Birmingham Public Schools sent out a letter reminding parents that students are required by law to be immunized. But more parents in recent years have gotten waivers to exempt their child from immunizations. The school was exposed on March 29th, but we're told it had a deep clean last week during spring break, so the district is confident students are safe. We have a list of the exposure sites on our website, WXYZ.com. Now for a check of the forecast, let's send it over to 7 First Alert Meteorologist Mike Taylor. I'm calling today the pick of the week. We'll hit a high of 72 degrees. The clouds will break apart in the afternoon, giving us some sunshine to help us reach that number. Then by tonight, we're down to only about 48. We'll turn partly cloudy. Winds are going to lighten up a little bit. But just looking at the seven day forecast between Monday and Wednesday, about a 20 degree difference here. And we'll even have a chance of a wintry mix for Thursday early morning. And then the temperatures will slowly start to recover. We're calling for numbers near 60 degrees by Friday. Thank you. Mike, thank you. Well, that 72 degree forecast makes today a perfect day to take a trip to the zoo. It also happens to be National Zoo Lovers Day, and there's an extra special celebration happening at the Detroit Zoo. Today, it's releasing new pictures of the newest double hump camel, Tula. Look at her there. She was born on March 27th. Tula joins her two siblings at parents at the camel habitat across from the Rackham Memorial Fountain. The zoo is open until 5 o'clock today. Those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Head to WXYZ.com and download our free 7 app for news anytime. I'm Anu Prakash. Have a great day.